Let's look at the basics of a data fabric. So the first thing that you need to understand is that the data fabric is an architecture or a method. It is not a tool like a data warehouse, data lake or a data lake house. Let's look at the primary objectives of building a data fabric. Considering the various forms of data being available in various stages of their life cycle, the data fabric needs to provide a framework for appropriate data access to various roles. A data fabric should always provide a data policies framework to ensure that the integrity of underlying data can be maintained at all times. One of the core aspects of data management is lineage tracking. This can allow for easier quality checks and deleting data as and when needed. Master data management should allow for extensive cataloging and management of the data throughout their life cycle in the underlying storage. The fabric must have a dedicated integration for data science tools which work directly with the unstructured or the raw data. This is very different from the data warehouse world. The fabric should allow data virtualizations which provides the users a seamless interface between physically different data sources available across multiple clouds in the worst case. The governance and privacy aspect of the data virtualization should take care of the active metadata, lineage tracking, RBAC, role-based access control, and masking and redacting of data. Based on domains, various compliance standards can become part of your data virtualization responsibility as well, like HIPAA, GDPR, FCRA, CCPA. In recent times, real-time analytics is becoming integral to most businesses, and hence the data fabric should be extensible to this possibility as well. From a usage perspective, the data fabric should have API services and data as product for the use cases it is catering to. Again, this is domain specific and has to be customized. While building a data fabric, you have to understand the end users like search catalogs, business analysts, data scientists, app developers, OSS compute engines, ML ops, and AI ethics frameworks. Let's look at a generic framework for a data fabric. By now you might have realized that data fabric is a bunch of layers and that need to be built by you. The data management layer needs to be responsible for data governance and security of the data. The ingestion layer should start the process of stitching together the data sources, finding connections between structured and unstructured data. The data processing layer should set up the data for the further processes of transformations. This is extraction phase. The data orchestration layer should perform the transformation, integration, and cleansing of data to make it usable for the teams across the business. The data discovery layer should provide opportunities to identify hidden correlations between disparate data sources. Finally, the data access layer should take care of the authorization-based access of the information, and it should also allow integration with visualization tools.